Hi, and welcome to your mini video tutorial series on perception architecture. My name is Chuck Dolce. I am principal of Impact Marketing Solutions and creator of the perception architecture method. Um, this is sort of a bonus video I put together, kind of a, a welcome, introductory type thing. Um, just sort of say, hi, how do you do? Thanks for joining me. And to give you a little bit more information about me and the perception architecture method, what it is, what it can do for you. Um, also, I've got a bonus I want to tell you about at the end, sort of a thank you gift um, I'm putting together. Uh, I'll tell you about that at the, uh, the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Um, but let's move on here. Um, let me tell you a little bit about me, a little bit about my background. Uh, my career started way back in 1983. Um, I spent 17 years uh, working as an analyst and broker on the floor of one of the world's largest financial exchanges. Uh, from there, I spent seven years as head of uh, product management and, um, and sales for an, a leading international software developer, developing trading software uh, for professional traders. Uh, for the past five years, I have been uh, a mar working as a marketing consultant full-time uh, for financial publishers and financial professionals uh, alike. And uh, somewhere in there, for about a year, I took off, actually. Um, spent six, uh, six months or so kicking around Europe and the UK, uh, visiting friends, seeing the sights, uh, enjoying the hospitality of the locals, and taking a ton of pictures, frankly. Um, if you can ever swing something like that, I highly recommend it. The pay is crap but the experience will last a lifetime. Um, anyway, what else, can I, uh, what else can I tell you about me? Um, I'm a Chicago boy, born and raised. I am a Cub fan. I'm a Bear fan. Uh, I'm an Opera fan. And now you're asking yourself, how much tragedy can one man stand? Um, uh, what else? I am uh, an unapologetic libertarian. I'm a cigar aficionado. Uh, I think the Austrians are the only economists who got it right. I think Anne, uh, Atlas Shrugged is one of the greatest books ever written. And I think that uh, scotch is the nectar of the gods. So uh, take away from that what you will. Um, you can read my whole story, actually, if you want, on the web uh, on the web page. Um, I'm still trying to sell the rights to that to Spielberg, but we'll, I haven't heard back from him yet, so we'll see what happens. Anyway, what I want to talk to you about now is a little bit more about perception architecture, what it is, how it works, what it can do for you. Um, I created the perception architecture concept in response of, to the uh, financial crisis of 2007-2008. Uh, uh, when uh, the market started melting down like they did, I knew that a lot of things were going to change from, from a regulatory perspective uh, to the way investors viewed markets, to the way investors viewed uh, market professionals, financial professionals, planners, advisors, uh, wealth managers. Uh, and I knew that the way financial professionals were going to have to communicate with their prospects and their clients was going to have to change as well too. So in response to all that, I kind of took my unique uh, unique background and um, uh, created this, 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 this method I call perception architecture. Um, so what is it? What is perception architecture? Well, um, traditional marketing, if I could just back up for a second, traditional marketing is kind of done in a linear fashion. Uh, you have your, uh, your product, your service here. Um, you create a marketing message. You take it to your market. You fire away. The problem with that is that once your message hits the market, you can never really be sure how they're going to perceive the message you're trying to tell them in a positive light and negative light, in an apathetic light even. Um, I'm going to show you some, some, some examples later in, in uh, the series about how two, two, two members of a very similar demographic can actually uh, look at the same news, the same data, same information, and create two entirely different perceptions from the same information, basically. Uh, it's very possible. Um, and uncertainty, especially like we have in the markets today, only, only adds to that risk uh, of being uncertain, of unsure of how your, market, or your message is being perceived. Uh, so it's very important that you work at creating a perception, creating a clear, uh, precise, positive perception of, uh, of your practice, of your services, uh, of, of who you are, and what you do, essentially. So what makes perception architecture uh, unique? Well. Um, Perception architecture doesn't really focus its marketing from the aspect of the product or service, but rather it, 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 it bases its message in terms of relevancy to your market. Okay, It looks at five basic uh, categories, including uh, your prospect, your practice, uh, your brand, your marketing content itself, and then your media and strategy, uh, or how you actually execute, how you actually uh, 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 deliver deliver your message basically. Now this this is important for a number of reasons basically. First of all, um, uh, following the rules of perception architecture will help make you more important to your market. Uh, it does this because you'll be speaking to them on relevant terms, terms that are important to them essentially. 
Um, it also allows you to engage more with your markets. And studies have shown basically that more engaged clients actually offer more referral business. Uh, so there's another benefit there. Uh, it also lets you leverage your marketing as well too. Uh, you get more mileage out of the marketing that you have and that allows you to, to, to spend more time working with your clients, working in your business, creating stronger bonds with your, with your, with your, with your clients uh, and, uh, and, and essentially um, uh, building a better clientele basically. Um, I passionately believe in the perception architecture method. I think that all marketing um, going forward is going to have to start being done from a deep understanding of, uh, of, uh, of your clients, of the prospects, uh, their biases, what they want, what they're looking for, basically. Um, I think the, uh, the old days, basically, of just whipping up a mark, uh, message and, and, and sending it out to the market are basically, are basically over and done with, uh, probably for, uh, uh, for the foreseeable future, if not forever. So, uh, essentially, that's what I want to share with you. Uh, in this video series. I want to teach you a little bit more about the, uh, the ideas, uh, my experience, the things that I know, and, uh, and hopefully they'll help you uh, enhance your marketing as well too. So anyway, uh, on to the bonus here. Um, I want your feedback. Um, any questions you have, comments, thoughts, ideas, love the series, hate the series, whatever, let me know. Drop me an email. Uh, you should see my uh, uh, email address on the screen here now. Send me an email. Any questions you have, um, I'm, I'll be happy to answer. Now, I can't answer questions individually. I have private client business that takes uh, priority, uh, obviously. Um, but what I will do is I'm going to get all your feel all your questions in, in, in several weeks. And what I'm going to do is put together a special report, sort of a supplement to this video series, uh, where I'll answer your questions. Uh, fill in any blanks, offer any any more uh, examples. Let's say, for example, that I can, uh, and, and and create uh, uh, more of a, a complete, more of a complete resource for you, basically. So, uh, be sure to send me your comments and questions um, uh, at the end of this video. Uh, and that's about it for this video. Um, uh, hope you uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it inf informative. Uh, keep an eye on your email for the link to tomorrow's video, and uh, we'll see you then. Thanks very much.